Can I get sound, please? Thank you. Chance. Social media. What is it? Hang on. Try that. Social media. What is it? Nobody knows. Except for me, I'm Brian, and I'm a social media guru. I follow over 20,000 people on Twitter. Could 20,000 people be wrong? So, if your business needs a social media, call me. I'm Brian. Do you want a Facebook? 1995, I'll get you a Facebook. Four Square, you call me, tell me where you are, and I'll four square it for you. I write in all caps, so you know I'm serious. I am not yelling all the time. Reddit, I be Bebo, Finger Fling, Beep Bop, Hawk, Beto. I know all I'll tell you which words you can say to make you sound like me. Right. Web 2.0, engagement. Tweeple, community, webinar, magic. No one knows how to handle your customers like a total stranger working for six dollars an hour. I'm Brian, your social media guru. Call me. I have a very big fear. It's a fear and it's a phobia and it's something I battle with every single day as much as I don't like talking in front of people. And I suppose I'm going to confess something to you here, that as much as I work online and I am online and I'm present, I'm not Brian. I am very much not Brian, and I despise really everything that Brian stands for. See, it's been very interesting for me to watch the evolution of phrases for people who use the internet and for people who work online. And it's things like guru, which is a, a, a word, or maverick, or ninja, or cowboy, or all of these words that, it, that um, talk about uh, the kind of people that we are. And I'm going to fly through that again. And then I see words that are used to describe me, like expert, and advocate, or badvocate, or thought leader, or a key opinion former, or an influential Twitterer. Or a, an, an award-winning blogger, and it's nonsense. My name is Dara Doyle. I use the internet to tell people about things, and I'm not Brian. <laughs> okay. And when I was invited to talk at TEDx, um, the theme was alchemy, and it's a very, very big word. And in the emails that uh, I talked, shared with the organisers, one of them said something very clever. It's how, do you, how ideas build upon other ideas to create something new. Now, this is a very, very fascinating and interesting subject for me personally, because for me, what that is is storytelling. I'm a big, big fan of storytelling. And storytelling for me is the internet. Um, and it's communicating the ordinary in communicating the ordinary in an extraordinary way. A bit like humour. I had to have a cat in it. We are talking about the internet. <laughs> um, and what I love about the internet and what I love about what I do, not pimping myself or pitching myself, but talking about the internet generally, is what shapes people's ideas of the world. So it's what you're told, what you hear, what you see, what you experience, and what others do. And for me, that's what's out there on the internet. I went and I read some books. So I read. The Alchemist by Paolo Coelho, a book, a story about taking opportunities. And then I read, and I'm reading a, a novel about Ireland by Frank McGuinness, which talks about a Shanachie and storytelling and its influence to Ireland. And then Seth Godin, who it's lovely to be up talking after, he says, tell stories about your brand. And then Tara Hunt talks in The Puffy Factor about social capital and how the story you tell can benefit you online. 
And then there's a book called The Influencer, which says how your story can change anything. And one of the best selling books in the world is not is this one. And it says, think differently to be differently. I went a bit mad with books researching this talk. And just in case you think, oh yeah, no, he read all those books, definitely. That's how many books <laughs> I have at home from my shelf that contributed to this talk. But it confirmed for me that it's all about the story, and it's about the story that people tell. And I'm not just talking about this sort of storytelling. I'm talking about this sort of storytelling where everything we do is now telling a story. Everything we do is now being shared with other people online. This is the lovely slide about Web 2.0 storytelling, the words of multimedia millennia and social gaming and all of that kind of stuff. But this for me is what's important. What is it that you go and look for online? Well, it's the stuff that's relevant to you. I work on the biggest discussion forum in the country, but what you'll find is people are interested in the stuff that people are interested in. Where they're from, what they do, who they are. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But like, I'm no one special. All I do, right? So I work for boards.ie. I write on WordPress and Blogger. I have a Tumblr blog. I use my phone a lot. I use my flip camera to upload to YouTube. I upload the videos to Vimeo. I put my photos on pics.ie. I twit pick them, I put them up on Twitter. I check in on Foursquare. I, all of that gets rss to my RSS reader and the people who follow that. It's on LinkedIn, right? And people think, oh my god, you do such a, such a lot. This is my very favorite photo of me in the last few years. That's me <laughs> at the U2 concert in Croke Park. And what I loved about that photo is I never before realized that what I was trying to do was capture and communicate the moment without actually enjoying it. <laughs> it's a tough one. My talk is very simple. Anything I can do, you can do better. And these are some of the companies that I work with and work for and volunteer for and everything. It looks very, very impressive. But from this angle, from where I'm standing of having worked online for so long, there is nobody in this room who cannot do the same thing. There's nobody watching this on video who cannot do the same thing. And that's really, really why I don't like Brian. There's nothing special about me. I don't have degrees. I don't have formal training. I don't have qualifications in social media or the internet. This wasn't something that I grew up wanting to be. The truth of it is, and it bears testament to how I'm dressed, is I wanted to be a Catholic priest. <laughs> Went to a seminary, and to be honest, a lot of people have said to it, but you're not doing a lot different. You're still talking to a community, or as Seth calls, a tribe. You're still shepherding, or I, I prefer calling it cat herding sometimes, and it's still communicating with people. What I do have is experience, and effort, and ability, and resource, and time, and look. And that's what success is based on. That, for me, is what the internet is. It's about who you are and what you do. Now, I, what Brian did for the internet, for me, is he took it completely away from the alchemy, from the story, from the people, from how we got together and the connections and made it about money. So Bri Brian is not what I want to be. The internet is nothing new. I think people hear the words social media and 2.0 and get very, very afraid. And Oh, but what if I put something up there? Or will my boss let me? Or will my parents be angry? Or whatever. But the internet is nothing new. I'm from a very small place in Kilkenny called Greignamana. Lovely town to visit. I was glad to move to Dublin. <laughs> anyway, that was me, always a snappy dresser, right? <laughs> when I was growing up in Greignamana, it was about who you are and what you did. Who your family was and where you went to school, what your father's job was, how much you traveled, what you knew about. The three ways that people communicated or learned knowledge when I was growing up was, my mammy always said, I heard it from a man in the pub, or sure it stands to reason. Isn't it obvious? Whatever. The holy grail, of course, was I heard it on the wireless or saw it on the telly. And even better than that, as long as you weren't in the obituaries or the court notices, was the local paper. You were in that, your mother snipped it, sent it off to your aunt in Galway, to your uncle in London, wherever, went around the place. Computers came along. Uh, the, my first computers were, looked very like this. If in 1995 you could do that, you were an IT expert. 
everybody in the room can do that now. That's the thing I love about how the internet has done. And going even further, that's not an internet expert. I can guarantee you that. Just somebody who enjoys what I do. This is a photo of me in Spain four years ago when I moved over for a job. Elizabeth and I uh, went out from the office in lunchtime and went dancing in the waves. Now, previously, if I wanted to tell somebody about that, I would have to go and get the photo developed, <laughs> ring them. For years, we didn't have a phone at home. Or send it in a letter. Email came along, so it was easier now to communicate these sorts of things. It went to a channel called IRC. Twitter is nothing new. We were using at symbols 20 years ago. Uh, Bebo and Facebook are huge simply because it's, hey, look, it's my space on the web, and look, here's me at the Arc de Triomphe, and here's me doing something funny with my friends, and here's me standing beside Des Bishop. He's a celebrity, right? People went, got braver and went to Blogger and WordPress, and then it all went a little bit scary. Very scary in the ways that you can share stuff online. But we're still talking about what we're sharing is that simple photo or that story of me going out at lunchtime in Spain and um, dancing in the waves. These are the tips for engagement that everybody gets when they're, they're uh, on. They're reblogged from around the world and whatever. And I like them. They're lovely. For organizations, for people and whatever, it's very, very good advice. What I'm going to do is, though, is give you a bit of my advice of what I do so that if for any silly reason you want to emulate what I do in any way or to become popular, you can do this. Now, what was very interesting for me was the way that I was introduced. And I really want you to, to think about this because when, Seth was in, when Seth's talk was introduced, the words were said, um, he has one of the most popular blogs on the internet. It says so on his blog, so it must be true. <laughs> right? So you go researching Jared Doyle, and what's really interesting about that for me is how much of that is from Google, and how much of that have I put up there myself? How much of that is actually my personality or my persona? And we're in an age of personas where people um, can become who they want to be on the internet. I see it every single day in everything I do. I tell people, be online. You don't have to do all of this sort of stuff to be online. Be where you are, but be present in the conversation is, is the social media advice. The internet is for everyone. Um, this, is Mar Mar the, this is Marguerite Faulkner. She's 96 years old. She was the winner of the Silver Surfer Award last year goes on to YouTube, goes on to Google, uh, blogs, is uh, an avid user. This, though, this is, so I'm from Great Manor, right? This was in the Paris Bulletin on the Sunday 22nd of August of this year, right? And the things that I love about this, barbecue with real burger and buns, <laughs> guess the weight of the local celebrity, guess who made the cake, and what, really, re what I really, really loved, right? Get your photo taken for the club's website. This is free. <laughs> we, we exist, and, and we're happy with our caramel lattes and going on and checking in on Foursquare and whatever. But there are still people who are kind of excited about seeing their photo just up on the, on the local Greg Nomana website. I love it. I think it's brilliant. I wouldn't change it. Talk to people. Find the common ground. It's exactly what Seth said. If you want to find Ukrainian folk dancers, you can. How many of you think that's cute? Five minutes to go, thank you. Um, how many of you get that? OK, so there's a common ground there for people. Be yourself. It's, it's an awful trite thing to say. But no matter how crazy you are, people will still like you. No matter what sort of stuff you put up there, people will still like you. Be honest. Honesty is a big one for me, right? That, that's an even bigger one for me. I always tell people I'm only as intelligent as the nearest Google search. But honesty is not just about, oh, look, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. It's about things like this. Can, can, can everybody actually just say the, the words Irish wristwatch out loud, please? <laughs> there you go. How many of you said Irish wristwatch? You know? So it's that sort of stuff. Read. Not all the books that I read, but. I love the fact that you can go and there are so many blogs you can read, there's so many websites you can read, and if you want to know what's going on on the internet, read the internet. Those are the blogs that won the best blogs in their categories in the Irish Blog Awards last year. They're a lovely way to start. Be creative. 
Um, one of the things I do on Twitter is I tell extremely bad jokes, OK? But you take something like this and you adapt it <laughs> for your audience. You know, you make it relevant to people. This is what the National Library of Ireland is doing on Facebook. Those are old photos put in the place now. So it's a very, very clever thing. Don't take it seriously. So many people are serious and anal about the internet. I tell jokes. It connects with people. It gets people back from, oh, God. It's either, I can't believe he said that, or I was having a really crap day or a stressful day. You made me laugh. Uh, on an aside, one of the most popular things I ever put up, or one of the weirdest things I ever put up on Twitter was, my girlfriend and me have just broken up over her single bed. We were always falling out. The amount of people who contacted me privately and said, oh my god, are you serious? I thought the two of you were really secure and set. Very, very funny. Don't be afraid to share, OK? Um, I wrote about my adoption on my blog when I was going to find my, my natural mother, an interesting story. I got uh, 47 comments, some of them really, really beautiful. But I'm not talking about, this is what I had for breakfast, or I've had this big problem in my life. I'm talking about something as simple as, put up a photo of what you're doing in the morning on Twitter, and somebody will come back to you and say, thank you for putting that up. It's making me think of home. I know Patrick. He lives in Denmark. He's from Ireland. He likes things Irish. There's no such thing as a stupid answer. This is very important to me, well, when it's delivered in the right way. One of the most popular blog posts I ever wrote was how to comment on a blog. How to actually put a comment on a blog. I'm number one in Google for it. It's linked to from everywhere. And it was very, very simple advice. Not everybody gets it is another one that I will ask you to remember, and that's OK. On boards.ie, there's a contact form where you can email us in to ask about your boards.ie account or tell us you want to work with us or that there's a legal problem or something like that. Some of the emails that I get in, I'm looking for a standard Toyota Levin exhaust. Can you help? No. Uh, where in Dublin are you based? I need a, shirt, a shower curtain rail for around my bath. These are emails into the office of boards.ie. My favorite one, I was on board your boat last weekend. I left my books behind me. I live in West Meath. Can you tell me if the books were bought? I fascinates me to find out what was that woman thinking. I was on board a boat, on boards.ie. Maybe that's where it is. Not everyone you talk to is your friend, and that's OK. You don't have to be nice to, try and be nice to everybody. You don't have to be nice to everybody, but be civil. It's a good way to be. Be realistic. A lot of people have this sort of problem. We have a great idea. If you saw The Apprentice last week, oh my god, it destroyed me. That doesn't work. It takes work and time. You need all of these things for to do have a successful web presence. But you also need time, energy, help, and support. They're far more important. The numbers that matter are the people that you reach. That's my clout score. Go to klout.com. I have over 5,000 followers on Twitter. Actually, it's only really 2,000. It's not about the numbers. Be patient. Have cop on. There will always be begrudgery. Thank and learn from your critics. A very important one for me, be in love. Whether that's being in love with what you do or being in love with another person, be in love. Have something that you love in your life, no matter how unusual that may be. <laughs> and folks, my, my big advice, right, my big advice for anything social media and internet-wise and everything like that is never, ever, ever, and as a grammar freak, this kills me, but ever, right, underestimate what a kind word can do or the power of a smile. It's very easy to switch somebody out there. It's very easy for you to say good morning to somebody or hello to somebody on a website like Boards or Twitter or Facebook and make them smile. That was my most popular joke ever. I'm uh, Dara Doyle, I'm not Brian, and that's where you'll find me. Thank you very much. <laughs>